Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. And um, this video is in response to a gentleman uh, who I was conversing with on Facebook in the Forging It Forward Facebook group. Uh, excellent resource. David Pattinson. And he was asking about some lawnmower blades that he's able to get. Well, I get a lot of these. And one project I make out of these a lot that's handy for pretty much everybody is a ramp hanger or a cord hanger. So I'm going to make a ramp hanger out of this blade, uh, start to finish, and show you how easy it is and how you can take what some people consider garbage metal, which it is not a garbage metal, it's, and you can create something that's useful without too much effort. Anyway, a little bit of metallurgy here. I don't know what the blade's made out of, but I do know that they are a lower carbon, high alloy steel for the most part. Uh, some blades even go higher than that. But at the most, you can probably get them up to 40 Rockwell. I don't have a Rockwell tester. That's just the, the data that I have managed to accumulate on these blades. You can make a machete out of it. It'll cut a long time. It's not stupid hard to sharpen either, but it ain't stupid hard to dull. And you're not gonna shatter it It'll take an impact without busting. It has to be that way to be one of these. So, we're going to straighten it out, punch the holes, put the bends on it, and show you how to make a simple wrap hanger. See you in a minute. Alright, first thing you got to do is flatten out the blade. Heat up one end. this in, I'm going to heat it up, punch two holes in it, see you in a minute. Alright, she's hot enough, so don't try to drill this stuff, it'll generally eat your drill bit because of the high alloy in it, it, it don't like drill bits, and drill bits don't like it. So we're going to lay it on the anvil, throw a chain over it so it don't bounce, knock a hole through it with a punch by hand. That's the easiest way to make a hole in this stuff, you got a way to heat it. Here we go. Get it on there and throw a chain over it so it don't bounce off of there. Get it off the hardy hole first. Start popping the hole. Run it over the pretzel hole. Punch gets stuck. piece off. Oh, we're going to make one more of these. See you in a minute. Alright, let's knock another hole in it. It's a little about four inches apart. Something like that. Something like that. Got a dimple. Hole. I know you're going to get your punch stuck. Pop it out. Knock that little barb off. Set the 
hold down. There you go. You got two holes to hang it by. Now we'll push that in. We've got two bends to do. The tool is done. Other than grinding off the sharks. There you go. Got your holes. Now you can hang on to it. Put it back in. Keep that end up first. Do the first bend about two inches of an uplift like that. See you in a minute. Alright, we're going to do the first bend on it right here. You set it over the edge of the anvil about two inches and lay it down. Lay your crease in and then pull it back towards you. You can dull some of it with the hammer. You want to get the sharps off. Touch up. That bend's done. The reason for doing the short bend first in this gas forge, if you do the long bend first, it's not going to fit in there. So once you do the long bend, you're done putting it in the forge. All right, we're going to heat her back up. We'll see you in a minute. Now you're going to lock it in the vise and you're going to bend it over. It's easy to do if you do it at the holder. You take your hammer and flatten it out to 90. Take it to the anvil and finish it. See you in a minute. Well, there's what we got. We got about an inch and a half, two inches here, and then bend it at the hole. Punch two holes in it, but you can drill those out or drift them out or whatever. But you've got to remember to grind all the sharp edges off. Because if this is going to be hanging somewhere and you walk by it and get hung on it, you don't want to get slashed open. You wouldn't want that. So just make sure you, you grind all the sharp edges off. Anyway, I hope you gleaned something from this. That's all I got for this evening. So until next time, bye.